குறிஞ்சி சீனியர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் சிபிஎஸ்இ நாமக்கல் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ரிசல்ட் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஸ்கூல் இன் ஸ்டேட் எவ்ரி இயர் அட்மினிஸ்டர்ட் பை த போர்ட் ஆஃப் டிரெக்டர்ஸ் வித் ஓவர் 35 இயர்ஸ் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இன் தி டீச்சிங் ஃபீல்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் அட்டென்ஷன் ஆன் ஆர்ட் கிராஃப்ட் மியூசிக் டான்ஸ் சிலம்பம் யோகா ஸ்கேட்டிங் அண்ட் கராத்தே ஃபோக்கஸ் ஆன் ஹிந்தி சபா அண்ட் ஸ்பெல் பி ஒலிம்பியட் எக்ஸாம்ஸ் ஸ்மார்ட் கிளாஸ் ஃபார் எஃபெக்டிவ் அண்ட் இனோவேட்டிவ் லேர்னிங் அண்ட் வெல் ஃபர்னிஷ்ட் லைப்ரரி சாலிட்டரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் ஆன் ஸ்போர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம்ஸ் இன் ஸ்டேட் அண்ட் நேஷனல் லெவல் வாட்ஸ்அப் facilities to know activities of students and school inside the campus free bus for lkg to 8th standard free hygienic and nutritious food neat jee iit coaching experts from rajasthan and andhra pradesh along with our effective teachers admission registration for classes lkg to plus 2 kurunji education institution kavetipatti namakkal admission in progress cbse kg to 12 contact 9025895176 metric 6212 contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.in hi students now in this video we are going to discuss regarding a uh, special type of inflorescences so there special type of inflorescences three types are there so three types in this video we will discuss so before uh, this video so what are the uh, what is the information i have given now so racemose inflorescence with pedicellate flowers i have given racemose inflorescence on sessile flowers i have given later cymose inflorescence information i have given so why i have given this much of information elaborately means so these videos we are uh, giving for one year neat uh, uh, students also that's why very depth information i have given there so try to watch so now in this video now we are going to discuss regarding special type of inflorescences so very very important for neat examinations so try to watch this video carefully come let us have a look on this students now special type of inflorescences emma now due to modifications due to modifications in some inflorescences the arrangement the arrangement and the opening of a flowers remains special so means here due to some modifications emma due to some modifications where in some kind of uh, plants you know so here some inflorescences arrangement some inflorescences arrangement and the opening of a flowers some inflorescences arrangement and opening of a flowers remains or remaining special or remain special in my point you understood so so they are called that's why so here in arrangement of a flowers as well as in opening of a flowers also a uh, speciality is there no that's why so these inflorescences we have been taken under special inflorescence amma point you understood or not means so in some inflorescences few modifications are there so because of the few modifications so inflorescences arrangement as well as opening is special or opening of a flowers is remains special so that's why that's why these inflorescences we have given a name as special inflorescence a most special inflorescence which includes the following types now what are the types are there means so, so here i have given information first of all regarding what is cellaster one more time what is cellaster so what is the information of this verticellaster no so this particular verticellaster in fluorescence found in the family sir so, uh, this kind of uh, uh, verticellaster in fluorescence so where we can see sir means uh, definitely we can found in the family lamiaceae am a lamiaceae or labiate okay so what is the information i have written so that point only you try to save in your mind so lamiaceae family members definitely shows the special type of inflorescence known as verticellaster verticellaster now in this type of inflorescence am in this type of inflorescence uh, consist of uh, flowers that arise in the axils of leaves arranged opposite to the each other at every node means uh, here what is the point suppose in this kind of inflorescence so flowers arise in the axils of leaves means here definitely in axils of leaves you know we can see this kind of arrangement arranged opposite to the each other at every node means here so did you understand one point here what is a point author giving us is at every node at every node of the stem definitely how many leaves are present 
so once you see that here uh, leaves are present or leaves are arranged opposite to the each other means what is some point here we can understand at every node how many leaves are present two leaves are present so at the axils of these two leaves so here definitely we can find out axillary leaf in my axillary buds we can find out now in axils of leaf so here these axillary buds definitely forms the inflorescence i'm a point you understood or not so once uh, just to assume this particular thing so one particular node is there at this time so that particular node possess two opposite leaves emma simply or two leaves or there so axils of the two leaves axils of the two leaves so there axillary buds are present you know, at axils of the leaf so these axillary buds are form so special type of inflorescence so that is only the, in the axils of each leaf the flowers are developed so here once you see that the axils of leaves arranged opposite to each other which one flowers in this type of inflorescence flowers are arranged or arise in the axils of leaves arranged opposite to the each other at every node emma so what is the conclusion now i am giving is at every node two leaves are there or one pair of leaves are there at every leaf uh, axillary position and now flows of formation takes place emma so that point you try to save in your mind now in the axil in the axil of each leaf the flowers are developed initially in dicasial sac so now only we have seen one point in axils of leaves you no know, flowers arrangement is there or the flowers are developed initially in dicasial cyme so in a previous video in uh, uh, cymos inflorescence i have given information regarding so dicasial cyme okay so there we have seen no di means two casial means branches means here initially at axils of each leaf how many how many branches of inflorescence formation takes place two branches of inflorescence formation takes place so don't forget this point is important so one more time you see there in the axils of each leaf the flowers are developed the flowers are developed initially so initially in dicasial cyme means how suppose one peduncle will be there emma so dicasial cyme where we have seen in a cymos inflorescence only now cymos inflorescence means definitely that particular axis of the inflorescence ends with or terminates with a flower isn't it so later just below the inflorescence or just below the flower so that particular main axis produce two branches emma so this point where we have seen for example so two branches information in dicasial cyme we have seen no emma in a dicasial cyme we have seen no so there uh, total number of flowers uh, seven formation takes place likewise in previous video i have given explanation there dicasial cyme means so when the main axis is present that main axis terminates with a flower just below the main axis so two branches formation takes place or the formation of two branches we can see later later in monocasial scarpoid cyme formation takes place so first of all dicasial cyme formation takes place later after completion of dicasial cyme monocasial scarpoid cyme formation takes place am a point you understood or not means here in verticella aster neat examination point of important ma in verticella aster so totally how many number of inflorescences we can observe means one is dicasial cyme we can observe and one more is monocasial scarpoid cyme monocasial means one branch is present means how ma so sometimes you know zigzag manner uh, in previous video we have seen now monocasial means so when that particular cyme means cymos inflorescence uh, when it is ends with a uh, flower so later one branch only formation takes place that one branch in a zigzag manner uh, uh, we have seen in yesterday's information so that is is in monocasial scarpoid cyme so if you have in, if you have doubt uh, of uh, or a doubt in a dicasial cyme as well as in a monocasial cyme once you try to watch the cymos inflorescence so thereby you will understand what is the meaning of dicasial cyme and monocasial scarpoid cyme so diagrams very clearly i have given that's why here in verticella aster explanation so i didn't draw the diagrams of dicasial cyme as well as monocasial scarpoid cyme
point you understood or not means here the flowers are developed initially in a dicasial syme and later in monocasial scarpoid syme so first of all dicasial syme formation we can see development of flowers later monocasial scarpoid syme we can see next one so all these flowers means what are the flowers uh, uh, formation we are observing in verticillaster all these flowers uh, are uh, sessile sessile means which one is absent pedicel or small uh, uh, pedicel is present subsessile sessile or subsessile okay and uh, axis or uh, so short so that flowers are crowded around the um, around uh, like a false horal means when the flowers group of flowers are there now so they are uh, because of the very short axis um, because of the very short axis flowers are crowded um, flowers are crowded means like one bulk like one group group of flowers we can observe where at the node of uh, um, at the node or around the node around the so means here the flowers are crowded around the node like false horal so here so here neat examination point of view this point chance is to ask means a false horal false horal like inflorescence where we can see identify the options means so they may give what is elastor cyathium and one more is uh, like uh, hypanthodium likewise if they ask means false horal like inflorescence is nothing but what is elastor false horal so meaning is what is cell so here we have taken what is elastor now so the what is the meaning of what is elastor means false horal so this point you try to save in your mind so what is the point just i am asking to save in your mind means in what is elastor two important uh, uh, inflorescences we can observe one is dicasial syme later monocasial scarpoid syme we can observe next one so that's why so because of the false horal uh, inflorescences or the crowd of uh, flowers you know so definitely forms the false horal that's why this one hence it is known as what is elastor type what is elastor type sorry bo. so lamia c so this kind of what is elastor uh, what is elastor special type of inflorescence we have seen in the lamia c family now so what are the examples so try to give any examples sir so, means so, so examples or lucas lucas and one more is leo notice so try to buy out these examples what is elastor examples two are there one is a lucas and one more is leo notice so here to remember to give extra time so to give one more time revision so i have drawn this one i have given this one so in verticel aster dicasial syme plus uh, monocasial scarpoid syme one more time dicasial syme plus monocasial scarpoid syme together form verticel aster special type of inflorescence next one cyathium so second type uh, cyathium so it is a single flower like inflorescence very very important cyathium what once you see there what is elastor false horror like inflorescence the false horror like inflorescence later cyathium is single flower like inflorescence a single flower like a special inflorescence so where we can see this kind of a cyathium inflorescence means we can found in euphorbiaceae family members cyathium uh, cyathium inflorescence we are observing in euphorbiaceae family members what is elastor inflorescence we are observing in lamiaceae family members Emma? so try to save this point in your mind <coughs> next one inflorescence is covered by a deep cup like uh, uh, deep cup like structure it is uh, formed by involucre of bracts so here in a simple umbel as well as in a compound umbel so i have given information regarding this involucre of bracts emma so involucre of bracts means it is a uh, cup like structure so here what is the thing here what is the inflorescence is present in a cyathium no so that particular inflorescence is uh, covered by a deep cup in a deep cup like of or a deep cup like structure it is a made up of bracts so that's why what is a structure is a formed by the arrangement of bracts you know that particular structure we are calling as involucre of bracts but don't forget involucre of bracts so forms the a cup like structure within the cup like structure what we can see inflorescence the presence of inflorescence we can see next one on the 
on the involucro or, or on the deep like a deep cup like structure no nectar glands also are present emma so nectar glands are present on the outer side amma on the outer side of the cup emma on the outer side of the cup no which one we can find out nectar glands are present on the just on the present on the or nectar glands are present on the so outer side of the cup next one at the center of this one so means where so at the cup like structure is there no cup like structure or a deep cup like structure of uh, involucre of bracts we have seen no at the center at the center of this cup there is a single female flower very very important ma so means uh, here in a sayatiya how many female flowers are there means now our answer must be single once you see it uh, 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 spotlight so means in uh, sayatium like inflorescences so that female flower also where, when where it is present exactly at the center so here this particular inflorescence is present at the center of the cup so and how many number of female flowers are present just only one single flower is present that is also with long stalk so with long stalk that is with tricarpellary and syncarpus pistil tricarpellary syncarpus pistil tricarpellary so tricarpellary and syncarpus pistil means uh, one female flower is present that part per particular female flower consists of long stalk and with long stalk within the within the female flower we can observe the no, number of carpels and uh, how many and uh, next one what is a carpus syncarpus or apocarpus condition no so there tricarpellary condition means uh, three carpels are present next one is syncarpus condition or the syncarpus condition of pistil we can observe among this point is important so try to save in your mind single flower is present you try to get through my voice so single flower is present at the center of the sayati mami a sayati mami inflorescence so tricarpellary condition we can observe there and with syncarpus pistil now so by covering off a female flowers so here that is information I, they have given here encircling means a covering so around of the female flower encircling this is a female flower male flowers are arranged in scorpoid sign encircling this uh, female flowers male flowers are arranged in scarpoid sign that means uh, here around of the female flower which one is present male flowers are present uh, male flowers are present and uh, all these male flowers arrangement uh, again is scarpoid manner scarpoid sign means so previous video we seen now uh, uh, arrangement of uh, uh, flowers will be in a zigzag manner in the previous video in cymos inflorescence i have given explanation so that is the mean means here around of the female flower many male flowers are there my dear students what is the main important point to be discussed means female flower one and only the female flower is present there tricarpellary condition syncarpus a pistil is present likewise male flowers many are there you once you see their male flowers here male flowers means so plural number but here once you see their female flower single i'm a point you understood or not so male flowers are there so all these male flowers are present around the amma around the female flowers and these male flowers in fluorescence or the arrangement is scorpioid sign I means in a zigzag manner if you see that sayati means you know the arrangement of male flowers will not be very clear but so male flowers arrangement now through oh, through the information what is the point here we can take now male flowers arrangement is scarpoid sign am a scarpoid sign next one each male flower represented by a single stalk stamen am a single stalk stamens are present so definitely each male flower so represented by a single stalk stamen next one male and female flowers are eclamidious am i here it is new term you don't know about this one spelling is a c h l a m y d o u s eclamidious the male and the female flowers are eclamidious eclamidious means what is the meaning sir means so what is the meaning of eclamidious means so without perianth so here the perianth is absent without perianth perianth is perianth perianth is absent perianth perianth is 
absent emma next one the flowers are arranged the flowers are arranged in the flowers are amma one minute now the flowers are arranged in a centrifugal manner the flowers are arranged in centrifugal manner the flowers are uh, the flowers are arranged in a centrifugal manner emma don't forget what are the flowers are present in sayatyam no all these flowers are arranged in a centrifugal manner for example so this kind of a thing so this kind of thing where we can see so this kind of thing where we can see means so definitely we can see in euphorbiaceae family members and poinsettia euphorbiaceae family members and poinsettia so here what is information in a sayati many fluorescence one and only the female flower is present and many male flowers are present in a scarpoid cyma in a scarpoid cyma next one each male flower represented by a single stalked stamen next one male and female flowers are eclamidious eclamidious meaning is without perianth ama so here eclamidious means definitely important point eclamidious means without perianth means peria sir first of all we don't know regarding the perianth p e r i a n t h ma sir perianth means what sir means so the group of means calyx members and corolla members together form the perianth so in the next explanation i will give you ma so but if you would like to take now itself you can take uh, perianth is nothing but the combinations of calyx and corolla combinedly forms the perianth but here in uh, in male flowers and female flowers are eclamidious means so here the which one is absent amma um, perianth is absent perianth is absent means so calyx members as well as corolla members are absent i'm going to try to take that point like that next one so what are the flowers are present here in a sayati many fluorescence so definitely arranged in a centrifugal manner so centrifugal manner so where we can see sir I try to give any examples means examples euphorbia euphorbia and one more is poinsettia emma euphorbia and one more is poinsettia poinsettia euphorbia euphorbia once we have seen no where uh, in uh, stem modifications flattened stem is present in euphorbia and uh, cylindrical stem is present in you uh, know um, open shell likewise i have we have learned one important example in uh, stem modifications so like uh, one more time we are studying here euphorbia euphorbia and uh, in poinsettia so sayatium in fluorescence we are observing next one hypanthodium em a third one third special in fluorescence hypanthodium so this particular hypanthodium is fruit like in fluorescence hypanthodium is fruit like in fluorescence so first of all uh, verticillar is false horal like in fluorescence so false horal la emma next one sayatium single flower like in fluorescence emma now hypanthodium is fruit like in fluorescence emma hy uh, hypanthodium is fruit like in fluorescence now on the in fluorescence axis condensed emma in fluorescence axis condensed and uh, forms fleshy so our becomes flesh okay in fluorescence axis is condensed and uh, become fleshy cup like structure with uh, an apical opening so here again it is uh, also seems to be like a fruit like uh, uh, so here fruit like in fluorescence no so but will uh, cup like uh, structure will be there with uh, an opening or apical opening is present at uh, this point uh, so where we can see sir first of all let me give now one example so thereby you will understand hypanthodium example once you see exactly at spotlight ficus species uh, ficus species na banyan tree fruit did you see before so once suppose uh, if you have the uh, uh, possibility to see means once you see ficus uh, banyan tree fruit so thereby so you will understand the inflorescence of hypanthodium emma so that was that is only now we are learning so here the inflorescence axis inflorescence axis is condensed and become fleshy and cup like structure with a op uh, apical opening emma with an apical opening there small sessile and unisexual flowers develop on the inner wall of the cup mass very very important so at inner wall of the cup 
at the inner wall of the cup now so small is a cell and unisexual flowers are present next one once uh, you try to see this watch this uh, uh, diagrams in internet so thereby you will understand very clear so next one male flowers are nearer to the apical opening so here one point we have learned now here one couple of structure is there and with one op apical opening we are observing emma apical opening we are observing so there sessile small sessile and unisexual flowers are developed and inner walls of the cup we are studying now so there male flowers where they are male flowers are present at nearer to the apical opening nearer to the apical opening and the female flowers are present at the base you must try to uh, understand these uh, things so here male flowers are present at the apical opening male flowers are present at the apical opening and the female flowers are present at the base you must show so thereby so these two points we can understand sir if uh, male flowers are there at the apical opening and the female flowers are there at the base sir but the middle gap is there no so middle which one is there sir means in between these two types of flowers so some sterile female flowers emma between these two types no so some sterile female flowers are present so these are female or sterile female flowers are known as gall flowers gall gall flowers so female uh, sterile flowers are present between the male and female flowers so these flowers we will be considering as gall flowers emma the opening of flowers is not definite order so here arrangement of opening how it will be sir so means so not one particular order not in particular order so here this particular information so we can see we can see in ficus species ficus so ficus is nothing but banyan tree in banyan tree fruit no so hypanthodium inflorescence we can observe emma so that is a small information regarding special types okay so next one new concept that is is flower so flower flower is a reproductive unit reproductive unit in the angiosperms so definitely so in angiosperms no flower is uh, definitely flower is present so this particular flower is reproductive unit so right so it is a meant for or meant for sexual reproduction which one flower so definitely flower is required to the sexual reproduction process next one a typical flower has suppose if you take one typical flower now it has four different kinds of whorls so four different kinds of whorls arranged successively on the swollen end of the stalk or pedicel so here where it will be so on the flower so four different kinds of whorls are present my dear students so here under the flower so from here to here what is the information i have given you each and this particular information you know very well why because you may study this in entire information in 9th or 10th standard it is introduction of flower that's why so right a typical flower definitely consists of four kinds of whorls arranged successively on the swollen and swollen means bulge the end is present no that one may we can be taken as a stalk or end of the stalk or the pedicel that particular thing we will be calling as thalamus or receptacle means swollen end of the stalk or the pedicel we are calling as thalamus or receptacle okay next one so these are four different types of uh, uh, whorls or calyx corolla or uh, are nothing but accessory organs and androecium and gynoecium or reproductive organs means here there are four different types of four whorls are there calyx corolla androecium gynoecium but calyx and corolla we will be considering as accessory organs but androecium and gynoecium androecium and gynoecium reproductive organs means these two only are involved in the reproduction so next one reproduction in some flowers so like a lily ama lily comes under lily as a family member so calyx and corolla are not distinct so in some flowers like a lily lily comes under lily as a family members there calyx and corolla are not distinct so not distinct means not separated and termed as perianth 
So here once uh, uh, we have seen no perianth is nothing but the uh, specialized structure which is formed by the combination of calyx and corolla. Next one, when a flower has both andrisium and gynesium, means suppose if the flower has both reproductive systems, one is andrisium and gynesium. Emma, andrisium male reproductive system and gynesium female reproductive system. Suppose one flower consists of both reproductive systems, so such particular flower we can be taken as bisexual. Suppose if a flower having either only one type, only stamens or only carpels, so such particular flower we can be taken as unisexual flower. Emma, suppose if both reproductive systems are there means such particular flower bisexual flower we will call suppose if the flower consists of only one so means either male or female reproductive system such particular flower we will be considering as unisexual flower so absolutely so this information just the introduction of a flower still a lot of information to be discussed under the flower so i hope uh, you understood this video suppose if you're getting or if you're getting any problems so try to watch this video with more clarity so thereby you will understand